Welcome to Church of the Ascension on this Solemnity of Ascension of the Lord. My name is Olivia Trombino. The Church of the Ascension is a missionary discipleship parish. Each of us is a missionary disciple to the extent that we have encountered the love of God in Jesus Christ. We willingly share that experience by living out our mission to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and serve the local community. This evening mass is being streamed live. Uh, we are united both in person and with our online family. Our celebrant for this mass is Father Daniel, assisted by Deacon Gary. The mass intention for this liturgy is for the deceased Ed Agbuya and Tom and Dawn Alphas. We ask you to kindly silence your cell phones at this time. Thank you to all who attended our 50th anniversary celebration last Sunday. We are especially grateful to all who assisted in making the Ascension family gathering a great success, especially Tom Steffens and the anniversary committee for their vision and dedication. The parish office and food pantry are closed Monday for Memorial Day observances. With the recent violence in our nation, now more than ever, need the, the need to join our safety team is most important for weekend masses. Please see Father Daniel or one of the deacons after mass to help. We are launching a new and exciting faith formation program for our middle school youth, and we need your help. What better way to provide our young teens with a solid foundation of faith and good values than to get involved with this new program? We invite you to a volunteer information meeting this Tuesday, May 31st, at 7 p.m. in the conference room. Contact Kim Kennedy in the formation office for more information. Do you wish to learn more about the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives and come to a deeper understanding of Pentecost? Join us via Zoom Monday, June 6th at 7 p.m. for a roundtable discussion. If interested, please contact Bridget Passar. And now a word about our food pantry and the night's car show. Hi there. You know who I am. You know I'm up here begging. Okay. Um, you all have been so incredibly generous with the food donations. However, in January we had 258 families. This month we will have over 350 families visiting our food pantry. And so in order to assure that we have a large supply of food. I would ask you people over here to please bring some spaghetti. And can you people here bring some penne or that type of pasta? And could you bring some spaghetti sauce? And could you bring some hamburger helper? That would be a help. Also, the car show is on next weekend on Saturday. And all donations are coming to the food pantry, so be sure you come. It was so much fun last year. There's music and I think a food truck and all sorts of weird cars. Um, and we're starting our Meals and Wheels program up again. So if you're interested in doing Meals on Wheels, see me, I'm the person with this, out in the Commons. Thank you very much. Please rise and greet those around you. Hey, Joe. Uh, uh. 
And now, <laughs> let us recite the prayer to the Holy Spirit. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as you gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go, how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray for the way no more effect. All that we ask of you are we can never place in the family. In the of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One breath, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life brothers and sisters each of us called to walk in your life gather your people O Lord gather your people O Lord one bread one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. We are parts of the body of Christ, needing each other, each of the gifts the Spirit provides. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Good evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, which for us here at Ascension, it reminds us a lot. Today is exactly the day when the Church of Ascension was started. We say, thank you, Lord, for the gift of faith. Thank you, O Lord, for the gift of peace, and thank you, O Lord, for bringing us together as a community. In a very special way today, I'd like to introduce to you Deacon Christopher. So he has just ordained recently last Saturday and we have also the seminarian, William. So we are happy to welcome both of you here at the Church of Ascension. And the people here, they are so excited to welcome you. And we want you to feel at home. Ascension is a welcoming community and feel at home and continue to show you your talents and also they will share their talents and gifts to others even there. Amen. 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 Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, 
You came together, the nations, into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joy, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ to your Son in our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to fall in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen, he presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God while meeting with them. He enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, 
and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. Oh, you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High is the great King over the earth. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne with joy amid the trumpet blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God ascends his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now for all he has opened, appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it is appointed that men and women die once and after this judgment, so also Christ offered once to take away the sins of many will appear a second time not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil that is his flesh. 
And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust for our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. conquer death, opened heaven to all believers. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the, forgi for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of the Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands, and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, today we celebrate the feast of our Lord, the day of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. This feast reminds us a lot, and it gives us the memory of the time when Jesus left the disciples when he went into heaven. And I started asking myself for two things, that before he was taken into heaven, as he was ascended, he blessed them. And the second one, after receiving the blessing, the disciples, they left into Jerusalem full of joy. And I started asking myself, what does it mean for the Feast of Ascension? Jesus wanted the disciples to recognize that the ascension of the Lord was not the end of what Jesus has started. But it was just the beginning for another thing in their journey of life the beginning for ownership of them as disciples, as followers of Jesus. And that's why he blessed them. He wanted them to recognize that his blessing gives them the ownership of what he has started in their journey of life. And when they went back to Jerusalem full of joy, it's just a sign to let them know that they cannot accomplish this mission by themselves, but they need the power of the Holy Spirit. 
there is a continuation of the work of two groups, the Holy Spirit and the disciples of Christ. What do we learn from today as we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension? The Feast of the Ascension gives us, brings us to the memory to remember our own mission that we have a special mission to proclaim the good news. And we have also a special mission to understand that we have that ownership, that proclaiming the good news is part of our life. Proclaiming the good news is not just something that can just happen from out of blue, but it's a continuation on what Jesus has laid the foundation. The disciples of Jesus went back with joy and started praying, waiting for the coming of the Holy Spirit. That was the time for them to ponder, try to go back and see the way they were connected with the presence of Christ. The way he did all those things to show them how they can become good disciples. The way they came to recognize the way he invited people and give them food. They started pondering on what the way Jesus himself, he started walking, inviting them to become disciples. That was a time for them to ponder and be thankful for the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. But also, that was the time for them to let themselves be together, united, waiting for the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit changed them completely, gave them the mandate of proclaiming the good news, and they recognized it's because of that power he let them continue to fulfill that mission. Today, in a very special way, I want to say here at the Church of Ascension that the Feast of Ascension brings us to the same mission, that without the presence of the Holy Spirit, what we see here at Ascension would have not been the way we see. We come to acknowledge that it's because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Why it has come to happen this way? is because we continue to be united together as a community, as a family, and recognize that the Holy Spirit always guides us and gives us wisdom to move forward. Remember, 250 families started this wonderful community in 1972. We have even those former parishioners, prank owners, and even today some of you, they are here. They can even witness the way they started this wonderful community. It started like a small, small Christian community. It started like the team of people together, working together, and that's why they knew each other. And even they had even time to share the meal together because it was too small for all of them to walk together. But with the same mission, they were together, united with love. And they continued to pray together as a community to continue to allow the Holy Spirit to guide them. And they did it because they recognized that they all own the ownership of this wonderful community. Today, in a very special way, let us thank them and recognize what they have built, that foundation to make ascension. We recognize today is because of their prayers and for their faith. Let us clap their hands for them. It's easy to say, oh, I just came and I saw the big building. No, if they share their stories, they didn't start like the way we see. 
They started from Thamesville with a small building, with age and everything, but what they had, they had a big heart. They shared their treasure God has given them. Whatever they had, the gifts they had. But at the same time, they recognized that they will accomplish this mission not as an individual, but as a team, as a family. Today, in a very special way, we recognize that we have more than 1,300 families here at the Church of Ascension. It's because of this foundation. Let us say thank you for all of you who make Ascension the way it is today. Let us clap our hands for that. Last Sunday, I said the convocation and the, pre, the bishop also, he was happy to say that he was so thankful for the celebration of, and also for all the things we do here at the Church of Ascension. But I want just to tell you that each one of you had made the way this celebration to be the way we recognized last Sunday. Each one of you was part and parcel of bringing ascension together as a community, as a family, as a group of people together with one common, one mission under the power of the Holy Spirit. Friends, I want to challenge all of you. 50 years now has gone. Let us begin another 50 years together but remember, we can be successful if we walk together. Kuyumba Halomo. If we can recognize our roots, that those founders, they managed to bring us up to here, it's because of their dedication. It's because of their faith. And it's because they put their trust in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Come and join us. Let us recognize our ownership. Let us recognize that this church belongs to us. It's not the church of Father Daniel or Bishop Nestor. It's ours. And let us participate. And let us continue to work together. And don't say, I just come on Sunday, I go. The church will not go that way. Please come and join us. Use your own talents God has given you. Use your own time God has given you. And use your own treasure God has given you to make your ascension alive today. Allow me to end up with these wonderful words which we ourselves here at Ascension, we all say, in our parish, Jesus is alive. Welcoming to the lost and leading us to lives of merciful compassion. We are family. Every person brings value in our parish. Allow me to end up with the words of St. Teresa of Calcutta. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. Amen. Amen. Please stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. And for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. 
He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, if his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing in the glory of your resurrection and ascension, we offer now our prayers to you. For Pope Francis and Bishop Nestau, effective witnesses of the risen and ascended Lord, to convey a better understanding of the Lord, love of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. On this Feast of the Ascension, may the people of this parish continue to move into the future to proclaim, celebrate, and serve each other and the local community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our government leaders find clear and solid solutions to the conflicts in their legislation to bring peace to the nation we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all armed forces personnel who paid the ultimate sacrifice in war in our nation's history, be remembered on this Memorial Day weekend. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who are in need of healing in mind, body, and spirit know the loving hands of God and be inspired by the ascension of our Lord for strength, especially those affected by the COVID pandemic, those names of chronically ill listed in the bulletin, and for those names we mention aloud now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We hold in our hearts the fatal victims from recent violence in Buffalo and Uvalde, Texas. May they all be departed, be welcomed into heaven. Also, our weekend mass intentions, Ed Abdugaya, Tom and Dawn Alfies, Juliet Yap, Barbara Owens, Steve Genovese, Arturo and Remedios Borgia. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join in reciting the Ascension Parish Anniversary. Heavenly Father, Father we praise, praise and, and thank you for, for the past 50 years. years. Your, Your grace and spirit have enabled, enabled our parish to, to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and serve our local community. community. In, in thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the, the parish foundation and, and for, for all those who throughout the years have joined us in our mission, in our celebration, or have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and in our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, as one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. God of glory, hear the prayers and answer them according to your will. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We walk by faith and not by sight, nor gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none e'er spoke, but we believe him near. 
We may not touch his hands inside, nor follow where he trod. Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Help then, O Lord, our unbelief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found. That when our life of faith is done in realms of clearer light, we may behold you as you are in full and endless sight. We walk by faith and not by sight, no gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none e'er spoke, but we believe him Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread of your faithful to the earth and record in the hands of the coming for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, far good and good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is full of right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us share us in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, Every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are 
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the choice, and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bill, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Eddie Abuya, Tom and Don Alfred, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in no mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and our honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. In gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. And we ask if you're watching us live stream, please put a note in the chat box. Peace. 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 Thank you so much. Peace. 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 sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Body of Christ, amen. Mm -hmm. Body of Christ, you did it. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Body of Christ, I love you. Standing always at my side, you guard me from the fall. 
and you lead me in ways everlasting. Lord, you have searched my heart, and you know when I sit and when I stand. Your hand is upon me, protecting me from death, keeping me from harm. Oh, Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. Guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Where can I run from your love? If I climb to the heavens, you are there. If I fly to the sunrise or sail beyond the sea, Still I'd find you there. Oh, Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. You know my heart and its ways, you who formed me before I was born, in the secret of darkness before I saw the sun in my mother's womb. Lord, I know you are near, standing always at my side. You guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Marvelous to me are your works. How profound are your thoughts, my Lord. Even if I could count them, they number as the stars. You would still be there. Oh, Lord, I know you are near. Standing always at my side, you guard me from the fall, and you lead me in ways everlasting. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. I want to again welcome both uh, Deacon Chris and William. Um, we had such a good time with our seminarians last year that we're so excited to have seminarians back. So thank you. So just a, a reinforcement, if you have children in the middle school uh, program area, uh, please come on Tuesday evening to give input on uh, a new offering that they're looking at. Uh, that is very important. Um, also, after this Mass, I believe we have prayer, prayer teams in the chapel. Is that correct? Okay. So if you need prayers for yourself, prayers for somebody else, there will be people there uh, that will be praying for you or for other people. So please avail yourself to that as well. Um, I would like to ask if there are any visitors with us this evening. If there are, would you mind standing up, letting us know who you are, where you're visiting from, so we can welcome you? Any visitors? Okay, good. And your names? David. Okay. And you're from Pierre, Illinois. Yes. <laughs> well, welcome. They have blessed us with their presence in the back, and when I go to Iowa, I drive through Peoria, so that's how I remember that. So any other visitors with us this evening? Okay, um, let's see, Prita, do you want to say anything about people coming to join you this evening? Yes. Since to, today was Ed's first anniversary of his passing, so... relatives here with me, my sister, please stand. My sister, <laughs> my sister-in-law is here too, from Tennessee. Who else are here? And uh, friends in the local community. There, there are a lot. I cannot mention their names anymore. So uh, welcome to Ascension, and thank you very much for your prayers and your support during this time of my loss. Yeah. And thank you again. God bless you. I ask you to please now stand for our closing blessing. No, I would like to them, if we can allow them oh. to say at least one, just to say something to greet them. Please be seated. Yeah. I'll please let them say something. Well, uh, I'll try not to take too long here, but um, uh, we were asked to give a little bit of a reflection of just our, our story of how we got to be where we are. Um, and uh, so for me, I'm Deacon Christopher, uh, really happy to be with you guys this summer. Um, I grew up in a, in a military family, Air Force. I've been told not to say that around here, but I'll be so <laughs> bold as to, as to accept that. Um, so we grew up, I was born in Arkansas and spent a lot of my life actually up in Northern Virginia. Uh, spent some time out in Colorado too, but my heart really found a home when I went to Virginia Tech and uh, it really fell in love with the Southern part of the state of Virginia. Um, got connected with the Diocese of Richmond and, and after only two years at Virginia Tech uh, from a path in engineering, found my way into uh, seminary, uh, which was not what I had originally planned. It was not where I expected to end up. Um, but God saw fit to, to call me in that direction through a, a really powerful encounter with, uh, with his mercy and the sacrament of confession. And uh, maybe more on that story later. It's a long one. Um, but just so thrilled to have been called down this path to just last week. Uh, still pretty new for me to, to call myself deacon, to, to put on these extra vestments. It's, it's pretty warm. Um, <laughs> Um, but I'm really looking forward to engaging in this ministry, to getting to know this parish, to getting to know each of you in a special way, uh, and to entering into ministry in a new way as a, as a deacon uh, and discovering what that means. So, uh, so thank you for your welcome. Thank you for inviting us in. Uh, God bless you.
Thank you, Deacon Christopher. <laughs> Hello, my name is William Yearout, and um, I actually come to you from, uh, as we said in our bicentennial prayer, we prayed for uh, our diocese from the eastern shore to the Cumberland Gap. So if you go towards the Cumberland Gap, eventually you find me out in the mountains. I'm from Floyd, Virginia, originally. Uh, much different than the coastal area I now find myself, but it is an absolute joy to be with you here at Church of the Ascension. Uh, I'm very excited for what this coming summer, the next couple months, are going to bring. Um, thank you for inviting me into your parish community, into your families, uh, for all of the grace that I've been shown just in, just in one day here. So many wonderful people that I've met, so many more to meet tomorrow and over the next few months. I'm so excited. A small amount about my journey. Uh, speaking of long stories, is that I uh, was not raised Catholic, um, actually for a very long time. I was uh, what you might call a rabid atheist. Uh, <laughs> yes, and I had a conversion experience when I was in college. Uh, more on that if you'd like it. It's a good story, but it's long. <laughs> um, but after a few years and after a lot of back and forth with the Lord, I got the distinct sense that he was calling me to be a priest. So I applied to the Diocese of Richmond. I did uh, an internship for one year before seminary uh, at a parish in Charlottesville, so about halfway to back home. And then uh, this has been my first year in actual in-person seminary formation with Deacon Christopher up at Mount St. Mary's in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Uh, so I'm getting ready to go into my second year here I am for my first summer assignment with many more to come. So again, thank you all so much. I can't wait to get to know all of you. God bless you and thank you for inviting me into this wonderful community. Now stand and bow your heads for the special blessing and each prayer the response is amen. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day his only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where he is. Amen. May he grant that, as Christ after his resurrection, we sin plainly by his disciples, so when he comes as judge, he may show himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. We are sons of the morning, we are daughters of day. The one who has loved us has brightened our way. The Lord of all kindness has called us to be a light for his people to set their hearts free. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. 
For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day.